Hey guys, in today's video, we're checking out five different cables for musicians that have a slight twist to them. We've all used XLR, instrument cables, cables for our iPad to use apps and stuff like that. All five of these cables do the same thing, but with a slight twist to them. None of this is going to be mind blowing or earth shattering or something completely different, except maybe the bonus one that I'm going to give at the end. But they all do something that fixes a common problem that a lot of people run into. So I figured I'd do a video on it to show you these cables to see if it's something that could help you out with your setup. Links to purchase all of these will be down in the description down below. Some of these are for guitar, some of these are for XLR, some of these are for powering your gear, some of these are for using with like an iPad with an app and stuff like that. So it's kind of just all over cables for musicians. So before we get started, I post videos like this all the time, stuff about music gear, gear reviews, finding cheap stuff for musicians on Amazon, tutorials tutorials, stuff like that. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and hitting the like button is a free way to support the channel. All right, let's get started with the first one. Okay, the first one I'm going to do is kind of something that I'm sure a lot of you have seen. But just in case if you haven't, I'm going to do kind of the more obvious one first. So this right here is a TS quarter inch cable right angle on one side straight on the other side. Uh, this one's by Licato. It's a normal standard instrument cable that you use for your guitar. The thing that's different about these is they have these little nubs right here on both sides of it. And what happens is the audio only goes through when those things are pushed in. You've probably had this happen before where you are plugged into your amp or something like that and you unplug and you hear that sound of the popping What this does is now when you unplug, on either end, it mutes the audio. Very, very cool, and it is on both ends of this one. So pretty cool that they do that. Plus it's a right angle cable, which even when I use wireless gear, I always use right angle cables. So it's really cool that they did that. So Mikado actually sent me this just to check out when I did my video on their looper pedal. And I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. So on Amazon, it has a 10 foot version for $18 and a 20 foot version for $23. So pretty much the same price of most cables. Again, I'm sure a lot of you have seen that, but I figured I'd include it just in case if you haven't. Okay, so the next one is an XLR cable by Diadario. And this one, you can see, you know, it looks like a standard XLR cable. Maybe you can already see what's going to happen here. But it bends completely in either direction. Pretty wild. You can see that there's this cable in there that moves, or it doesn't move, but it's able to change just the direction of the XLR cable. And it actually does that on both sides. You can, see, you can see that both sides actually bend in whatever way you would like it to. So, you know, if you're using that for vocal mic, it's not really necessary, but when you plug into something, especially if you use like an in-ear monitor rig, for me, what's cool about this is that, it, you know, you can leave cables plugged in and you can close a lid on some of your gear. Like if you use the Behringer XR18 or something like that, you can plug this into that and then close the lid on your rack so it's definitely really helpful it's helpful for cable management you know having all those cables sticking out can be a pain sometimes so the fact that this turns in either direction and as much as you want it can be right angle or it could be you know more like this like a 45 degree angle type of thing so you have all sorts of different different options with that so that's pretty cool it does feel weird to do this with a cable because you know you're not supposed to do that but it seems really firm like it's not going to break or anything like that they have stuff like on the box explaining on how it works and why it's reliable. So pretty cool, pretty cool little setup for sure. As a bonus, I figured I'd tell you about this one. This is a little adapter by LYX Pro. So you can see it's just a right angle one. So obviously, you know, it, it just plugs into any XLR cable. However, the thing is, is that you can actually unscrew it and turn it into a different angle. So it can go in any direction that you want it to, which is actually really cool. So if you want a permanent type of thing and plug this in for whatever you need a right angle adapter for, you can change the direction of this one. So the cable is a little bit pricey. 10 foot is about $31 and 25 feet is about $40. Not awful, but you know, a little high priced, but hey, if it helps you out, it's worth it. The adapter also itself is a little bit pricey at $15 for the adapter. It does come in different, you know, two pack, three pack, four pack to save them on price. 
And of course, they also have just the regular right angle adapters anyways. LYX Pro makes those as well, both male and female right angle adapters. Make sure they're facing the correct way if that's what you need, but I'll link to all of those down below. So whichever one fits your needs better, links will be down in the description down below for both of them. Okay, next up, this one has actually been discontinued, but I did find another one that was very similar. So this was a TC Helicon one. It was their guitar and headphone cable all in one. So you have the quarter inch, and then you have this other eighth inch adapter up here. And on the other end, you have male quarter inch tip and a female 3.5 millimeter right here. Especially if you use like direct rigs like HX Stomp or Helix or Fractals or Kempers or something like that. So you would plug this into your Helix and then this would go into like the headphone out. This was meant to be used with the TC Helicon Voice Live, which had a headphone out that was 3.5 millimeter. You could always get an adapter. And the one that I found that actually does this by Ernie Ball, actually this one is a quarter inch one as well. You plug this into the headphone out. And then on this side, this is what plugs in your guitar. And right next to your guitar, you can plug in headphones so you can get an in-ear monitor mix of your guitar signal. Pretty cool little idea, especially if you do like solo sets and stuff like that. That's actually how I used it. My main looper was my TC Helicon on Voice Live 3 and I would loop with that. It was a way to get my mix to my ears and my guitar into the TC Helicon with one cable. Pretty cool little idea and it worked really well. The thing is, is that obviously, you know, it's an in-ear monitor type thing, so you don't have a way to turn up or down the volume. With the TC Helicon, it was really nice because there was just there was just one knob that you turn and that turned up and down your headphones. So I could just lean over and turn up if I needed a little more volume or needed a little less volume. So just make sure you have a way to control that volume, especially with direct rigs. You know, if you're trying to tell the sound guy, you know, I need to hear more in my monitor and the sound guy sucks, you always have this ability to just, hey, I can now at least just hear my guitar and what I'm doing, and then, you know, rely on the rest of the wedges for the rest of the band and stuff like that. Really cool little feature. Hopefully that helps some of you guys out. This one's a little pricey from the Ernie Ball one, but if it helps you out, it's definitely worth it. Okay, next up is for anyone who uses an iPad or an iPhone, you know, and uses apps live, like for keyboard or guitar plugins or whatever. If you use an iPad for music production, this next one is for you. So most of you know, you have to get the adapter, sometimes called the camera connection kit. That is a way to convert the lightning pin into USB. Now, again, they have different ones like the iPad Pro now accepts USB-C. So, you know, there's, of course, you know, we live in a world of all the adapters and stuff like that. So you just make sure you get the right one. But it's always, you know, some sort of way to turn either lightning pin or USB-C into regular USB. So there's two different things. Is that one, I did find a cable that is, you know, this USB or is lightning and it goes to the USB B. So I could go direct into my Helix, my HX Stomp, my Behringer XR18. If you guys saw my video on the multi tracker app, this is exactly the cable that I use for this. And it's a way that I can get 18 tracks of audio from my iPad direct into my mixer with one cable because it's audio over USB. So this is a cable right here that removes that whole adapter by itself. You don't have to use the adapter anymore. And I don't. I This is the way that I can do it directly with this cable. Pretty cool. The thing is, is that something weird, I, I can't figure out why some cables work with certain iPads and which ones don't. This one has worked for me fine so far. Let me know in the comments, you guys ever have any problems with certain adapters not working with your phone, but they work with other devices or other tablets. It's really bizarre. So this one does work for me. So I will post a link to that one down below. However, even if it doesn't, if it doesn't, you can get this guy. This is kind of that camera connection adapter. This one is lightning and it goes to the USB, but it also has a port right here that you can charge while you are using the device. So you know, uh, Apple obviously got rid of the headphone jack forever ago. Some iPads still have it, some of them don't. But you know, a lot of times you run audio out of the lightning port. So if you've also ran into that problem where you're using your iPad and the lightning pin is transmitting the audio out, you now no longer have a way to charge that device. So you have to hope that it's at 100 and that your battery survives. Now you can plug in that USB cable here and still plug in power so that your device is charging while you're using it. And it's only like another 10 bucks or something like that compared to just the regular set. So it's definitely worth it. Apple actually makes this one. So those are two cool options if you use music apps on your iPhone or iPad or tablet. 
I think, I guess all of these are for iPad technically, but hopefully it helps out some of you guys. If you count both the adapters as one separate, those already count as five, maybe six cables I've gone over. I don't know. The last one I'm going to tell you about is something that I actually already did a separate video for, and this is the bonus one that I'm going to leave you with at the end. And this is something called the Ripcord by MyVolts, and what it is, it's a way for you to power your gear with USB power. So you can either run that into, you know, a wall outlet with USB, or you could even power your gear with something like this. You can run your gear off of something like this, a power bank and run your gear. I, that was my main power that I used for the HX Stomp because HX Stomp had a really bulky power supply. And this is the main way that I power my HX Stomp as well as some of my wireless gear, wireless mics and stuff like that. Really cool little device. I am going to link to that video at the end. I'll post it up above and down below, but it is a way to power your gear. They have different, you know, options for 12 volts, nine volts, center positive, center negative. You do have to watch that video so that you understand, make sure that you're getting the right cable for your gear, but they do have a great website where you can scroll through and you can say, this is what I'm looking for. And it'll tell you which cable you need to get. Quick side note, I guess, since we're on the same topic anyways, is they also have the candy cord cords. This is 3.5 TRS to a quarter inch TRS, but you know, they're, they're kind of unique colors and the, the kind of the stretchy type cables by my volts, really cool company. I've been using their power for a long time. Again, watch my video on the rip cord. If you want to know more details about that, I hope that helped you guys out. If you guys found this content helpful, do me a favor, just hit the thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments if any of these helped you out, if you're like, oh, wow, this is perfect. This is really what is going to help me out with my setup for whatever reason. Let me know down below. I'm definitely curious on how it's helping you guys out. Also, again, purchase links are down below. They are Amazon affiliate links. They're a free way to support the channel. If you use those links, it doesn't cost you anything. It's just a free way to support the channel. So I would appreciate it. So again, I hope that helped you guys out. Check out some of my other videos and some of my other gear reviews, especially that rip cord. That thing is really cool. It's what I use to power my gear. So check out some of those videos by clicking the links on your screen now. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages at Scott Ewell Music on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys again for watching. If you have any other cool gear you want me to check out, leave it as a comment down below. Always interested in checking out new gear. Thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. However, what the